So, you're telling me that you... you don't want to give it any more time? I'll give it time if John will give it some space. Okay, I can, I can understand that. Look, John's feelings for Charlene, they're so strong. How am I supposed to compete with that? You know, Kelsey, that might be a good sign. Where? In my parallel universe? Now, I've got a theory. Never fails. Please, clue me in. Men, they always try to act calm and cool on the dating front. You know, if it's anything close to an emotion, they don't want to deal. Then when it hits, wham, it hits them hard. Back up. What, what hits? Well, this is probably the first time since Charlene that John has felt this way about anyone. He's probably scared. Scared? John Hudson. I mean, this is the man whose hands don't even shake when he does microsurgery. Yeah, but this isn't surgery. You know, and he probably needs some time to sort it all out. Great. Well, how long am I supposed to wait? I mean, how many times do we need to hurt each other before we get to a place th that's even remotely comfortable in this relationship? Well, you can walk now, or you can stand firm. It really depends on how much you care about each other. You know, how much you, you want to be with him, how much you think about him. So what you're saying is, if it's worth it, I should just chill. Yeah, and start accepting his past. Love like that never really dies, you know? You know it too, don't you? Uh-huh. Ryan, you were just thinking about Ryan, weren't you? Well, actually, I was uh, thinking more along the lines of the never-ending saga of Ryan and Vicky. Chapter 1001. Totally and absolutely irresponsible. Matthew, calm down. You took it upon yourself to preempt our daytime lineup without consulting me. Do you know how many make goods that's going to mean to our advertisers? Advertisers want ratings. Only during the shows they buy. Well... Too late now, and if you'll just relax your ponytail, you'll see that I had a brilliant idea. You have no idea. You have As no idea. As a matter of fact, I do. What? I do have a good idea, and you should know by now that I make very good decisions. And besides, I had to act quickly to get the big news coup of the week. What, what news coup? It's what? a press conference. Grant is going to announce the details of the manhunt for Victoria's kidnapper. We're going to outdraw Oprah. You can apologize to me later. Come on, let's already started. As you can see on your television screens, this is a police artist's rendering of Ian Rain. The local authorities have begun a citywide manhunt to find my wife's kidnapper. If he's fled the city, indeed, if he's fled the state, he will be found and brought to justice. In the meantime, my wife and I refuse to become prisoners to fear. The reason we're here today is to show the public that as this manhunt continues, we will continue to live our lives normally. Now, are there any questions? This gentleman here. Senator Harrison, I was wondering if you... Actually, Senator, I have a question. sort things out? We should. I'm sorry if what I said earlier hurt you. Don't be. You were just telling the truth. There are some other things that I wanted to say, too. Like how much I like your pies. It's not funny. And how much I care about you. I wish you believed me. When you look at me like that, I do. What do you say? Say goodnight to Brett and Frankie. And then we just take some time to be alone. Just the two of us. I'd like that. You sure? Mm hmm Yeah. I'll make some lemonade, okay? I'm a very good lemonade maker. Make some lemonade, and we'll go out and, and we'll sit on the front porch and talk. Or no, we don't even have to talk. You know, we'll, we'll just uh, watch the sunset. It'll be beautiful. 
Is that what Charlene would have done? <sighs> Sorry. That was uncalled for. Yeah, it was. I should go. No, no, Kelsey, don't you see? We really have to talk. I'm sorry, but every time we talk about this, it just seems to get worse. Look, just thanks for being understanding about the pies. As I understand it, Senator, you're now personally involved with all the details involving the Ian Rain manhunt. That's correct. If that's the case, then how can you guarantee his capture when you're not using every available cop? Do we have to do this Thank Harrison you for your family question, Ryan. Come on, I want Don here. Come on. Yeah. For those of you who don't know, this is my brother, Ryan Harrison. Let me assure yeah. you all that we are working very closely with the Bay City Police Department. The best available men and women are working around the clock to crack this case. Let me also talk to all of you who may be watching right now. Without your cooperation, we won't apprehend this man. You've been shown a positive ID of Ian Rain. We'll show you the phone number and the picture once again. Please. What are you doing? Your help. I'm writing down the numbers so if we see him, we can call them. Good. Kidnapper sighted at Bayview Court. Ooh. Come on, Lord, you, you never really know. That up. You never know. Wow, did you guys see Ryan's face? He looked so angry. Yeah, you see Grant's face? He was mad, too. I wonder what's got them at each other's throats this time. You know, guys, what goes on behind the scenes is always more mm -hmm. exciting, don't you think? Maybe to you. But to the public, it is what uh, is on the outside that really counts, you know what I mean? And I think that uh, that could use a little bit of tinkering, Grant-wise. Mm. I completely disagree with you. I think Grant looked totally calm and collected, fabulous, very under control to me. Mm, my point exactly. Now, he was upset, but he kept his composure. That's pretty cool. I mean, that's, that's perfection, you know? Yeah, see, and now that is the problem. I hate perfection, don't you? Are there any more questions? Yes. How's your family holding up during this ordeal, Senator? I believe I'll let my wife answer to that, Victoria. Well, uh, as you can imagine, we're very relieved that the man who kidnapped me has been identified, and now the police can catch him. Uh, we're trying to cooperate with the authorities as much as we can to help find him, but um, this really is not going to affect our personal lives at all. Is that possible? Absolutely. I'm, I'm working very hard on the National Day Daycare Program and spending as much time with my son as possible. Um, I just, I want you all to know that my first priority lies with my, uh, my family and my marriage. Well, speaking of family, could we get a comment from Ryan Harrison regarding the events in the well, cave? I'm afraid that's all the time that we have for oh, questions today. one last today, question, Senator. Thank you very much. Well, thank you. Thank you so much for coming. The Senator won't answer any more questions, nor will any of his other family. Bye-bye. What the hell are you trying to do? Maybe I should ask you the same question. If you have a personal grievance with me, you do it in private. Yeah, well, it seems these days I can't have a conversation with you unless it's on television. Let me tell you something, Brian. I don't give a damn about your, your high-powered career or your well-placed image as long as Vicky's kidnapper is on the loose. He'll be taken care of. If he's caught, and that's a big if. You have a lousy attitude. Yeah, and right. it's getting lousier by the minute. How dare you take me off a case? I don't know what you're talking about. Did your brain go to lunch, Grant? Whatever you think. I went back on the force. Did you really think that I wasn't going to find out? What? Let me explain something to you, all right? Let me ask you something. What kind of position did you offer the chief? Hmm? High place government position in 96? I won't have you screwing up my life anymore. No, what is a real good reason to take me off the force? Because you're feeling threatened. Oh, that's going to put you and Vicky back together real soon. We are back together permanently. Let me tell you, you just better pray that Ian Rain is found. Because I have a stake in this too. Because my father might still be alive, and the only person who can tell me that is Ian Rain. Then you'll just have to wait to find out like every. No, I'm not going to wait to find out. I'm going to go after him, even if I have to do it on my own. <laughs>